Welcome to our third screencast on the perfect past tense in German. This time we're dealing with irregular or strong verbs which take sein rather than haben. Let's have a look at these examples. You'll see that we still have at the end of each sentence a past participle. But this time, rather than a form of haben in second position, we have a form of the verb sein. So the first one, ich bin ins Kino gegangen. I went to the movies. And gegangen comes from the verb gehen. So you see our GE, our EN, and our irregular stem. Number two, er ist nach Deutschland gefahren. He travelled to Germany. Again, our GE, our EN, and this time a regular stem from the verb fahren, to travel. And in the third example, seid ihr zu Hause geblieben? Did you stay home? Again, we have our GE, our EN, and it's an irregular stem, changing from bleib to bleib. It comes from the verb bleiben, to stay or remain. Okay, so important here is going to be that you know by heart the forms of the verb sein now. So, let's go through them. With ich... We have been. With du, bist. Er, sie, and es, ist. Wir sind. Ihr seid. And sie sind. Sie sind. Okay, so make sure you go over that. You need to absolutely know that by heart. All right, let's look at some common verbs that take sein rather than haben. The vast majority of them are verbs of motion, but not all. It's not a hard and fast rule, but it's a good guide. So fahren, we have our GE. We have our regular stem in this case, far. And we have our EN, and that's our past participle. Gehen, as we met on the last slide has an irregular stem. We still have our GE and our EN, but in the middle we have our irregular stem, gang, rather than ge. With fliegen, the regular stem will be flieg, but it is an irregular stem, it becomes flog. So we add our GE to the start, our EN to the end. Laufen, to run, it actually has a regular stem, lauf, and as per the pattern, a GE at the beginning, an EN at the end, gelaufen. Bleiben is our first example of a verb that is not a verb of motion, and it is also an irregular stem, changing from bleib to bleib. Still, though, with the GE and the EN at the end. Geblieben. Sein, as we might expect, is a totally and utterly irregular verb. Sein, many to be. The stem is actually Vs. No rhyme or reason. Just have to learn it. So, GE at the end, beginning, EN at the end. Gewesen. Okay, so there's some common past participles. Fahren to travel, gehen to go, fliegen to fly, laufen to run, Bleiben to stay or remain and sein to be. And let's look at some sentence examples. So we went to the cafes is what we want to say in this first one. So first up we need our form of sein. And with wir, hopefully you remember, it's sind. And do you remember our past participle of gehen? That's right, gegangen. So wir sind ins Café gegangen. The second example is a question. Have you travelled to Canada? So our subject here is du. Our form of sein therefore is bist. So bist du nach Canada? And our past participle at the end as always gefahren. Bist du nach Canada gefahren? Third example. Our subject is ich. So our form of sein is bin. And our past participle of laufen is gelaufen. And it's at the end 
as per the pattern. Ich bin zum Strand gelaufen. I ran to the beach. And our final example for today. On the weekend, she stayed home. So the weekend's not our subject, but rather she. So the form of sein that we need is ist. And our past participle of bleiben, geblieben, remember. So am Wochenende ist sie zu Hause geblieben. On the weekend, she stayed home. Okay, I hope that helps. Good luck.